Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna make a quick video right for you guys on how to fix Marvel Rivals crashing. This is actually an NVIDIA driver issue, believe it or not. It has nothing to do with the game. Uh, NVIDIA lately has been lacking really hard on putting out good driver updates. And even to date, there's been a crazy texture glitching bug that has existed in drivers even dating back from like driver version like 5.552 point something I'm not too sure it's like a very old driver and it's really annoying for older Unreal Engine versions like uh, less than 5.4 so in which case Marvel Rivals runs on 5.3 so in any case uh, a, a friend sent me a crash log uh, I went through this crash log really quickly and I was able to identify uh, what the problem was and it, like I said it was the NVIDIA drivers uh, in this case it wasn't anything to do with DLSS or frame gen or anything that would normally cause those types of issues so to fix that uh, a simple solution believe it or not is actually to download this driver version uh, I do a lot of game dev work and I know from experience that this is a stable driver uh, this has actually worked prior to all the texture glitching that has been an ongoing issue for any game that uh, has been released in like Unreal Engine 5.2, 5.1 and stuff like that and anything possibly before 5.4. So if you're having texture glitching issues in games, uh, especially like the new Chernobyl or anything like that, this could potentially fix that very likely. Um, it has to do with like the way that the latest drivers are handling like shadows with lighting and whatnot But mostly above all the latest graphic drivers right now to date are actually causing extreme crashes for Unreal Engine um, Like I think almost any version I, I get it all the time in my work environment. It's very annoying very tedious so uh, roll back to this driver version it's not just Windows 11 it works with Windows 10 as you can see here in the description I'll leave a link of the official Nvidia download link that is this in the video description click it download it run it and obviously when you install it uh, it would be most ideal to restart your computer to ensure that it's running like the most obvious driver like you want to do a full fresh install uh, of this driver you don't want to have like any remnants of like the old version that you previously had so do that run the game let me know how it works and uh yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna leave it at that i'll catch you guys next time